are hoping to see some silvery minnows today. Uh, we're going to look at the entire fish community though and see how they're responding to the monsoons and the turbidity. Uh, everyone has assigned tasks. It takes four of us just to work the nets because we have two nets. We'll have people taking water quality. We'll have people uh, using the GPS to map our exact location where we sample. Uh, we have people to help count and enumerate the fish and handle the fish. These guys will set their big net up, give us a signal, one, one to go through, and we'll make one sweep right to the center of their large net. As the two nets, as our net gets over their net, we'll all tilt these nets up. Scott and I will step back, and they'll step back. Sam and uh, Scott will then uh, sort the fish into the uh, proper bucket. We got a silvery minnow here. It's a wild one, we can tell because it doesn't have any marks on it. Uh, it looks like it was, based on its size, it was probably spawned at least last year or maybe a couple years ago. We got it in the pool over there, so they're trying to get out of the flow at the moment, it appears. So earlier this year when I was out monitoring, I collected 600 eggs over five days at this site. Uh, the biopark came out with a couple sayings and they got nearly, they got over 8,000 eggs by swirling up the water and letting them drift into the seine. So this site was very productive and it's just this tenth of an acre at the bottom here that has, was really full of silvery minnow eggs. The program itself has been a, uh, has been relatively successful. We have shown that the minnow goes up and down and have been able to keep the population going up and down in the middle of a 20-year drought. The last four years have been pretty tough, but we are still finding wild minnows out there. And that's part of the value of what we are doing is uh, we're seeing wild minnows, not just hatchery minnows out there.